Each nation's history is forged by personalities. Moldova is not an exception. Many great people were born and lived in Moldova. We will tell you about three of them. Nikolai Melesko Spataru knew 10 languages and was a Russian ambassador in China. On his way to China through Siberia, he described its geography and people who lived there. He was one of the first Europeans to describe China and its culture. Oh master, I've come to hear your wisdom. Shit! Dmitry Kantimir is another example of a very educated person. He knew eight languages and was a great diplomat. Greetings! Would be interesting in a trade agreement with Moldova. Yes, let's discuss the conditions. He was a scientist as well. He wrote historical and philosophical books and his masterpiece, The Description of Moldova the first detailed written description of the Moldovan Principality. In this book, he of course mentioned Moldova's greatest ruler, Stefan III and the Great. Stefan the Great ruled Moldova for 47 years. He fought for Moldova's independence and centralized the government. He successfully opposed far stronger enemies, the Ottoman Empire, Poland, and Hungary. Stefan was leading his troops, won over 50 battles and have lost only two. He was not only a great general, but also a brave warrior. One day Stefan was walking in his castle's yard, thinking about his country and politics. I love my country, it's so beautiful. He had a lot of enemies. Get ready, Stefan's gonna pass now. Today is the last day of his life. Go! Get ready to die, Stefan! I love my country! This is my motherland! Oh my god! Glorious battle! Of course, there are more great personalities in Moldova. You can find information about Alexander the Kind, Dmitry Matkovsky, Alexei Matyevich, Ioan Kuzov on the internet.